Hello everyone. So in the last video, we have seen a very important tactic or scenario uh, to switch the x values from one to two and two to one. Okay, guys. So this is one if else if else if else chain, and this is another if else if else chain. Okay, guys. So at the initial state, since x is equal to one, we will get into here and we will run this this first because since this is first, we will get into this if condition check, and we will do whatever supposed to be done. Okay, x is equal to one is true, and we will print it. And we will skip every else if else since this is true because I already said these all three are one chain and this if is a new starting right this is another if so this if and else if is another chain okay guys so then once I did this work x value is one is printed then I will skip everything else and I will come to the next line and I will see in the line number 19 there is another if condition there is a new thing new chain so I will check that also so I will see x is equal to one so but I know <laughs> already I have done but should be done when there's one so now this if condition is for switching the values so then I will switch the x value to 2 now note this guys very clearly I have an else if here that means what if this if is true this else if will be immediately skipped okay so I make it 2 and skip the rest else if and the code ends and the coding ending ends here and there is no other common code so code ends here and they will again start from void loop. So what now what is a new x value? 2 because we have reassigned it to 2 here and I will print this. Okay guys. And again I will come skip this else part and I will come here. This is false. So I will get in the else if condition and check. This is not a uh, only else condition. It is else if. So I have to check the condition. Is this 2 or not? It is 2. Then I will change it back to 1. Okay. Then I will come here, come here and I will print it. Okay. So one thing I want to tell is the problem is, I mean, if x is equal to 1, I have printed this, whatever the related text, okay, then I will skip everything else, and I will check here if is equal, x is equal to 1 or not, yes, x is equal to 1, that's fine, I will make the x to 2, okay guys, since I made this true, this is true, x is made 2, and we skip it, so this is the beauty of if else if, if we don't skip this, what will happen, in this line, x value became 2, and if the else if is not according to the, our the if field building, when the people are building the if else, creating, if they didn't skip it, once this becomes true, if they didn't skip it, what will happen? Now x became 2, then again they check, now x is what? 2. Again they reassign it to 1 here. So again the same one value will be printed. So that will be stupidity, right guys? You understand what I am telling? Because here we make the x is equal to 2, then we don't want this else if to happen. because we made the x is equal to 2 because in the next iteration we want this to print then only we want to we want to come here and run this else if you understand so that is why this else if and if are chained so that one time this is happening this happened we want to skip the else if otherwise the functionality will be terribly affected okay so i hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say guys okay so because we make the x equal, equal to 2 and we have another check for x is equal to 2 or not if you don't skip this since and since this is else if then again there's no point of assigning it to 2 because in the next line this is true it will be again becoming 1 but luckily we have else if condition or else condition or if else conditions uh, chain that will help you to overcome this issue by skipping the rest if one time one is becoming true so this will be skipped this check will not happen so we are not we are error free because we will come with the x value as 2 here to this if condition and we will implement this this then again we come this is false and we rechange it to 1 that's fine because we want to change it okay guys so i hope you guys understood it very well very clearly okay so this is one error free scenario and another scenario i want to tell is you have noted here here i am not writing another else condition I'm not writing another else, right? I only have an if and else if because I know this is enough. Because for, for our current uh, requirement, okay, I only want to switch between 1 and 2. I don't care about the else, okay? So I don't write an else, okay? So guys, remember, writing an else part is not necessary because we started with an if condition or, or earlier in the first video, okay? Only if condition we did without an else or else if, okay? So else condition is not must unless you explicitly need it okay program can run with else even with an only one if a program can work with only one if condition a program can work because if you want something to happen only this is true and if you don't want anything is 
anything to happen for another else conditions any other else if for else condition you don't need to write them actually okay you understand but without an if condition an else if for else will not work for example remember you are telling your mother is telling uh, okay if you pass the exam i will give you watch and she doesn't care about your fail she is not want to tell about whether you are failing what i am going to do or she, let's say she is not doing to do going to do anything if you don't pass then she doesn't have to tell about it she says if you pass i will give you a gift if she is not going to do anything else anything if you fails she doesn't have to tell about the else if or else or anything if she has recommends for them like let's say okay if you are failing i am going to send you extra class then there is an else else condition is needed or say she is saying if you are getting if you are not passing and uh, let's say if you are getting more than 75 marks i will give you a, give you a, um let's say iphone then if, if she is telling only thing and if she is not going to do anything if you are not going going to make more than 75 and she doesn't have to say else or else if okay now she is thinks okay uh, okay if you are getting more than 50 and less than 75 i will give you a watch okay then she needs an else if condition because she is going to she is going to do something else for less than 75 that means for this false and another condition and she is also going to do another thing if you are not getting both or either this or that even you are not getting any or let's say you are not getting more than 75 and also you are not getting let like, between 50 and 75 you are failing both then if she doesn't want to do anything for that she doesn't need to tell that also they'll say tell that else also she doesn't need if she wants to do something else okay let's say if you are not getting even more than 50 to 75 or if you are not getting more than 75 nothing is true then she plans to send you extra classes then she has to tell the else condition if she is not doing anything she doesn't have to tell it the, the same thing happens here if there is one we choose change it to two if there is two we change it to one if there is not one or two we are not going to do anything so we are not telling it that's all we are not having an else you understand what i'm telling so it is depending on the requirement guys okay guys so in the next video we will quickly go through the demonstration guys catch me up in the next video and i hope you understood what i was telling very clearly guys